given the ratio am to mb is equal to 1 to 2 find vector mb in terms of a and b so how do we find vector uh, mb so vector mb is right here so m b it's over here so this is where vector m b is found okay so now if you have been given the ratio what are we supposed to do the first thing will be to find this vector a b because m b is falling on a b so how do we do this one we first need to find a M, I mean A B as usual. So we're going to say vector uh, vector A, okay, B. This is vector A B is equal to A C. That's vector A C plus vector C B. So you always start with the letter that is starting. Okay, so we're starting with A. Here we must also start with A. In other ways, if you are standing at A, you want to go to B. Which other way can you move? You can move from A to C, C to B. And this is what I've done. Vector A, B is equal to vector A, C, C, B. Okay. So maybe the question may be, um, we, are, we are looking for mb but here we've started with a b why it's because mb is falling on on this line which is or the vector which is vector a b and we are using this or we are we're taking advantage of the ratio okay look at the ratio we're taking advantage of the ratio okay so once we do that we can now plug in the values what is ac a C is a vector B there. We write it like that. What about C B? C B will just simply be plus a negative A or vector negative A. Now, maybe your question may be why if I put negative A, but here there's a positive A or positive vector A. Why am I putting a negative? I'm putting a negative because we are coming from C to B and the arrow, if you see the arrow, it's pointing the opposite direction, which is B, C. Okay. Here, what we're looking for is C, B. So to show the negative, to show that it's opposite, we must indicate, we must put a negative sign. So we simplify this. It will just be like this. So we have found our vector a B. Now we go to what you've been asked, which is the vector M B. So how do we get to find vector M B? Now look at this. This is where it calls for the ratio. So this M, I mean A M is one. A M is one. Uh, M B is two. So A M is one. You write your one here. And then MB, it's 2. You write your 2 here. This is what you're looking for. So what you're going to do next will be to add these. Or you add these ratios. So it will be 1 plus 2. It will give us a 3. So let me write here. 1 plus a 2 is equal to a 3. So this 3 will simply be our denominator. So we're going to say 3. Have you seen? The total number will be 3. So now we check what we've been asked. This is MB. What number or what ratio is representing MB? It's a 2. So we're going to write a 2 on top here. If it was AM, we could have written a 1 here. So after writing that, we multiply it by what we've found. We multiply it by vector AB. So what is vector AB? That is a B minus a like that minus vector a like that and this is our solution so this is how we get to find the 
or to use the ratios. Or this is how ratios work. Thank you and bye-bye.